I want you to close your eyes for a moment and picture this. You wake up feeling rested, your mind is clear, and you have a sense of inner peace and calm. As you go about your day, you're able to stay present, focused, and handle any challenges that come your way with grace and resilience. You feel alive, inspired, and in control of your thoughts and emotions. Does that sound like something you want in your life? Well, my friends, that state of mental well-being is not just a pipe dream. It's something that's within your reach if you make the conscious choice to take care of your mind every single day. You see, your mind is like a precious garden, and just like any garden, it needs consistent care and nurturing to thrive and bloom. Let me ask you this, if you had the most beautiful garden in your backyard, would you neglect it? Would you let the weeds take over and choke out the vibrant flowers? Of course not. You tend to it regularly, water it, prune it, and remove anything that could harm its growth and beauty. Well, that's exactly what you need to do with your mind. You have to be the gardener of your own thoughts, emotions, and mental landscape. You have to be intentional about cultivating a space that is fertile for growth, positivity, and inner peace. And the good news is you have all the tools you need within you. It's simply a matter of making the choice to use them. So let's start with the basics. Every morning before your feet even hit the floor, take a few deep breaths and set your intention for the day. What do you want to accomplish? How do you want to feel? By starting your day with a clear and positive mindset, you're setting the tone for the rest of your day. Then make it a habit to practice mindfulness throughout your day. Mindfulness is the art of being present in the moment, fully engaged with your surroundings and your thoughts. It's about observing your thoughts and feelings without judgment and letting them pass like clouds in the sky. Try incorporating mindfulness practices like meditation, deep breathing exercises, or even just taking a few moments to pause and be still throughout your day. Another powerful tool in your mental well-being toolkit is gratitude. When we focus on what we're grateful for, it shifts our perspective and allows us to appreciate the beauty and abundance in our lives. Start a gratitude journal or simply take a few moments each day to reflect on the things you're thankful for, big or small. And let's not forget about the importance of movement and exercise. When you move your body, endorphins are released, boosting your mood and reducing stress and anxiety. Find an activity you enjoy, whether it's yoga, running, dancing, or simply going for a brisk walk. Your mind and body are intrinsically connected, and taking care of one naturally supports the other. Now, in addition to these daily practices, it's also crucial that you nurture your connections with others. We are social beings, and our relationships play a significant role in our mental health. Take time to connect with loved ones, engage in meaningful conversations, and seek support when you need it. Having a strong support system can be a lifeline during challenging times. And remember, it's okay, no, it's essential to unplug and recharge regularly. In our constantly connected world, it's easy to get caught up in the digital whirlwind. Set boundaries for yourself and make a conscious effort to disconnect from technology. Spend time in nature, read a book, or engage in a hobby that allows you to disconnect and recharge. Last but not least, practice self-compassion. We are often our own harshest critics, but it's time to break free from that cycle of self-judgment and embrace self-compassion. Treat yourself with the same kindness and understanding you would extend to a dear friend. Remind yourself that you're human and it's okay to make mistakes or have off days. My friends, taking care of your mind every day is not a luxury, it's a necessity. It's an investment in your overall well-being, your happiness, and your ability to show up as the best version of yourself in every aspect of your life. I know it's not always easy. Life can throw curveballs our way, and sometimes it feels like we're just treading water, trying to keep our heads above the surface. But even on those days when it feels like an uphill battle, make a conscious effort to prioritize your mental health. It might be as simple as taking a few deep breaths or going for a short walk. Every little bit counts, and those small acts of self-care can make all the difference in your ability to navigate life's challenges with resilience and grace. Remember, you are the gardener of your own mind. You have the power to cultivate a space that is fertile for growth, positivity, and inner peace. It's a lifelong journey, but one that is worth embarking on every single day. 
So start today. Start tending to your mental garden and watch as it blossoms into a beautiful sanctuary that nourishes your soul and allows you to truly thrive. You owe it to yourself to take care of your mind every day. It's the greatest gift you can give yourself and the ripple effects will be felt in every aspect of your life. So let's make a commitment right here, right now, to prioritize our mental well-being and to nurture our minds with the care and attention they deserve. Together, we can create a world where mental wellness is not just a luxury for the few, but a reality for all. A world where we're not just surviving, but truly thriving, but truly thriving, living our lives with purpose, passion, and inner peace. It all starts by taking care of your mind every single day. You owe it to yourself to take care of your mind every day. It's the greatest gift you can give yourself, and the ripple effects will be felt in every aspect of your life. But let's go deeper into why this practice is so vital and how you can truly make it a way of life. Think about the last time you felt overwhelmed, anxious, or simply not like yourself. Maybe it was a stressful day at work, a conflict with a loved one, or just a general sense of unease that you couldn't quite shake. In those moments, it can feel like your mind is working against you, spinning out of control with negative thoughts and emotions that only serve to amplify the problem. But what if you had the tools to navigate those challenging times with more ease and clarity? What if, instead of getting swept away by the current of negativity, you could anchor yourself in a sense of inner peace and resilience? That's the power of taking care of your mind. It's like having a life raft to keep you afloat when the waves of life threaten to pull you under. One of the most powerful tools in your mental well-being toolkit is mindfulness. We talked about it briefly earlier, but let's dive a little deeper. Mindfulness is the practice of being fully present in the moment without judgment or getting caught up in the endless chatter of our minds. When you're truly present, you're not ruminating over the past or worrying about the future. You're simply experiencing the here and now with all of your senses. You're tuning into the sights, sounds, smells, and sensations around you and allowing yourself to be fully immersed in the experience. Now, I know what you might be thinking that sounds great in theory, but my mind is always racing. How can I possibly be present when I'm constantly bombarded with thoughts and distractions? The key is to approach mindfulness as a practice, something that you cultivate and strengthen over time, just like a muscle. It's not about stopping your thoughts altogether that's nearly impossible, but rather about changing your relationship with them. When you practice mindfulness, you learn to observe your thoughts without getting caught up in them. You see them as temporary visitors passing through your mind like clouds in the sky. You don't judge them or try to push them away. You simply acknowledge them and then gently bring your attention back to the present moment. This simple practice has profound effects on your mental well-being. It helps to reduce stress and anxiety, improve focus and concentration, and cultivate a sense of inner calm and clarity. And the best part, you can practice mindfulness anytime, anywhere while washing the dishes, taking a shower, or even waiting in line at the grocery store. But mindfulness is just one piece of the puzzle. Another essential practice for nurturing your mental well-being is gratitude. When we take the time to appreciate the good in our lives, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant, it shifts our perspective in a profound way. You see, our brains have a natural negativity bias. We tend to focus on and dwell on the negative experiences and overlook the positive. But when we consciously cultivate gratitude, we're training our minds to look for the beauty, the abundance, and the blessings in our lives. Think about it this way. Imagine you're walking through a garden, and all you can see are the weeds and the wilted flowers. Your experience of that garden would be pretty bleak, right? But what if you shifted your focus and started to notice the vibrant blooms, the lush greenery, and the intricate details of each plant? Suddenly, that same garden would become a source of joy and wonder. That's the power of gratitude. It's like putting on a pair of rose-colored glasses that allow you to see the beauty and abundance that surrounds you, even in the midst of challenges or hardship. And the best part? Gratitude is a practice that doesn't cost a thing, and it can be done anywhere at any time. Start a gratitude journal or simply take a few moments each day to reflect on the things you're thankful for big or small. Over time you'll train your brain to look for the good and that positive mindset will become second nature. 
But let's be real, even with practices like mindfulness and gratitude, there will still be days when life feels hard. Days when you're struggling with negative thoughts, self-doubt, or feelings of inadequacy. And that's okay, it's part of the human experience. What's important is that you approach those challenges with self-compassion. Self-compassion is the practice of treating yourself with the same kindness, understanding, and empathy that you would extend to a dear friend or loved one. It's so easy for us to be our own harshest critics, berating ourselves for perceived failures or shortcomings. But that negative self-talk only serves to compound our suffering and perpetuate a cycle of self-judgment and self-doubt. Self-compassion, on the other hand, is like a warm embrace for our weary souls. It's about acknowledging our struggles and our humanity without judgment or harsh criticism. It's about reminding ourselves that we're all works in progress and that it's okay to make mistakes or have off days. When you practice self-compassion, you're creating a safe and nurturing space within yourself, a sanctuary where you can tend to your wounds, recharge your batteries, and find the strength and resilience to keep moving forward. And here's the beautiful thing. When you treat yourself with kindness and compassion, it becomes easier to extend that same grace and understanding to others. You'll find yourself more patient, more empathetic, and better able to navigate the inevitable conflicts and challenges that arise in relationships. Speaking of relationships, nurturing positive connections is another vital component of taking care of your mind. We are social beings, hardwired for connection and belonging. When we feel isolated or disconnected, it takes a toll on our mental and emotional well-being. But when we intentionally cultivate and nurture positive relationships in our lives, we create a powerful support system that can buoy us through even the roughest of waters. Think about the people in your life who truly understand you, who listen without judgment, and who offer a shoulder to lean on when you need it most. Those are the connections that nourish your soul and provide a safe haven for your mind and emotions. It's important to make time for those connections, even when life gets busy or overwhelming. Schedule regular check-ins with your closest friends or loved ones, or make a conscious effort to reach out and connect when you're feeling isolated or disconnected. And remember, nurturing positive connections is a two-way street. Just as you seek support and understanding from others, be sure to offer that same level of care and compassion in return. Listen without judgment. Offer words of encouragement and validation and create a space where those you care about feel seen, heard, and valued. When you make the conscious choice to prioritize your mental well-being through practices like mindfulness, gratitude, self-compassion, and nurturing positive connections, you'll notice a profound shift in your life. Suddenly, those challenges that once seemed insurmountable will feel more manageable. You'll have a greater sense of resilience and inner strength, a deeper appreciation for the beauty and abundance that surrounds you, and a more compassionate and understanding perspective, not just towards others, but towards yourself. You'll find that you're able to navigate life's ups and downs with more grace and ease, and that you're able to show up as your best self in every aspect of your life, whether it's in your relationships, your work, or your personal pursuits. But perhaps most importantly, you'll cultivate a deep sense of inner peace and contentment, a calm, steady presence that serves as an anchor, no matter what storms may come your way. Because here's the thing, my friend's life is full of challenges and obstacles and there will always be moments of struggle, pain, and adversity. That's simply the nature of the human experience. But when you make the choice to take care of your mind every single day, you're not just surviving those challenges, you're thriving in the face of them. You're building a strong foundation of resilience, self-awareness, and self-compassion that allows you to weather any storm with grace and courage. It's like having an inner sanctuary, a sacred space within yourself where you can retreat, recharge, and find the strength and wisdom to navigate whatever life throws your way. And the best part? This isn't some lofty, unattainable goal reserved for a select few. It's a path that's open to each and every one of us, no matter our circumstances or background. All it takes is a willingness to embark on the journey, a commitment to showing up for yourself every single day, and a belief that you are worthy of cultivating a life filled with peace, joy, and inner contentment. So let's make a pact right here, right now. Let's commit to taking care of our minds, not just today or tomorrow, but every single day for the rest of our lives. 
Let's vow to start each morning with intention, setting the tone for a day filled with mindfulness, gratitude, and self-compassion. Let's make time to nurture our relationships and surround ourselves with a supportive network of loved ones who uplift and empower us. And let's approach this journey with a sense of curiosity and openness, recognizing that there is always more to learn, more depths of self-awareness and personal growth to explore. Because here's the truth, taking care of your mind isn't a destination, it's a lifelong journey. One that will ebb and flow with its own peaks and valleys, challenges and triumphs. But it's a journey that's worth embarking on day after day, moment after moment, breath after breath. Because when you make the choice to prioritize your mental well-being, you're not just investing in yourself, you're investing in a ripple effect that touches every aspect of your life and the lives of those around you. You're creating a world where mental wellness is not just a luxury for the few, but a reality for all. A world where we're not just surviving, but truly thriving, living our lives with purpose, passion, and inner peace. So let's take that first step together right here, right now. Let's commit to being the gardeners of our own minds, tending to the fertile soil of our thoughts and emotions with care, compassion, and intention. Let's water the seeds of mindfulness, gratitude, and self-love and watch as they blossom into a vibrant, thriving inner landscape, one that nourishes our souls and allows us to live our lives to the fullest. It all starts with taking care of your mind every single day. It's a simple act, but one that holds the power to transform your life in profound and beautiful ways. So let's embrace this journey together, hand in hand, hand in hand, heart to heart. Let's support and uplift one another, sharing our wisdom and our struggles and reminding each other of the immense strength and resilience that lies within us all. Because when we come together in this way, when we make the collective choice to prioritize our mental well-being, we create a ripple effect that has the power to change the world. One mind at a time, one day at a time, one breath at a time, that's how we'll build a legacy of mental wellness, a world where each and every one of us can thrive, not just survive. So let's get started, my friends. The journey begins today, and it begins with you.